back, my little friend. Uh, my next guest, quite a character. She's had over 60 jobs. She's only 31 years old. Hey, sounds like my brother-in-law. Hey! <laughs> but uh, she has turned her work experiences into this award-winning show called Blown Sidewards Through Life, which is playing at the Cornet Theater here in Los Angeles through November 20th. Please welcome Claudia Shear. <laughs> It's nice to see you. It's nice to be here. I was backstage and uh, Bruce and Lee, your people, were told, they said, the minute you get out there, say the name of the show because you don't know what he's going to do. Oh. So you said it, so it's okay. Those are two of my former employees. Yes, I are they? Know. And they said that you're from Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Why are you talking to me? It's his show. All right. <laughs> I'm allowed to talk to him. But you're from Brooklyn also? I live in Williamsburg. Well, I was born, not I born, but I was raised in Williamsburg. I live in Williamsburg. Williamsburg, Brooklyn. That's outside of Massachusetts. <laughs> But it's all built up now, Alan. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> well, let me ask you about this now. No. You, you've had all these jobs. Now, how many, I'm, I'm curious, how many were you fired from or quit or? I, I'd say I was probably fired from about 45, oh. 50, <laughs> 58. <laughs> now, let me ask you something. I, I just have a listen here. Receptionist right. at a brothel. Yes, I had a friend who lived in an apartment building and a girl down the hall was a prostitute and got her a job answering phones. And I got a job at the Strand Bookstore and I got 100 on the test, uh, to give you a test first. <laughs> and then I worked and I thought, well, this is great. I'm born for this job. I'll stand here. I'll talk to people about books. And they said, okay, that aisle, go clean it. And I thought, no, no, that's not, that's not what I want to do. So I left after 20 minutes. Um, oh, you quit that job after 20 minutes? I quit. I said, I'm sorry, I have to leave. And they were like, why? What's wrong? And I said, I, I have to go. And I left. And my friend got me a job answering phones in the whorehouse. And I went to 49th Street, and it was Halloween. That's what friends are for, yeah. <laughs> it was a good job. Well, I mean, it was a good job. And, and uh, it was off the books, and, um, <laughs> which is how I rated jobs. Right. Um, and I went there to East 49th Street, and, and I walked in, and there was this girl who was about 400 pounds with a bright red clown nose on. And I thought, no, this is getting very strange. <laughs> and she was the head phone girl, and she hired me. And she was dressed as a clown for Halloween night, which, you know, added that sort of surreal edge to yeah, the entire yeah, thing. I mean, she wore regular clothes the rest of the time, but uh, oh. at that moment, she was no, in no, a clown no, suit. What, what did you, I mean, you didn't go, hello, whorehouse. house. I mean, what did you say when you went to the phone? <laughs> uh, I don't, you know. You said, uh, please, I guess, please hold takes on a whole different meaning. <laughs> hey, but you know, all right, never mind, never mind. Go, Jake, go. Hey, now, I mean, what do you do exactly? Uh, well, I can't do the entire thing. I mean, give us but, an idea. Uh, I what... can give you a bit of it. Yeah. Um, but I did say it to the, your program fellow, and he laughed quite loudly. But he said, oh, you can't say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he liked it, though. Um, it's, uh, he said, hi. We have five very pretty girls. We have two brunettes, a redhead, and two very busty blondes. It's 95 for the hour, 75 for the half hour, etc. I recognize that voice. One of our most valuable It was a walk-up. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, now, why were you fired from that? I mean, how badly do you... I...